Hello and welcome to the presentation. My name is Pranit Patel, working in ENH iSecure Private Limited. In this presentation, we are going to look at SailPoint Identity IQ plugins. Agenda. In this presentation, first we will discuss about plugins and its introduction and all the requirements involved in the development of a plugin and implementation in of a plugin in SailPoint Identity IQ and also extending the base plugin. So here, first we will look at plugins where the plugin framework provides the infrastructure and tools to enable developers to extend the identity IQ meet a variety of specialized use cases that one might encounter in a non-standard development. If a developer want to extend the functionality of an existing SailPoint identity IQ, uh, then he, he can implement plugins based on the requirement. So SailPoint plugins provide us a robust flexibility to access the database and all of the content in a SailPoint Identity IQ objects. The reason for plugin development and implementation in SailPoint Identity IQ is to remove most of the of the box additional controllers and also converters. So let's say when there is a requirement of converting a time or date to one specific format, then these plugins will help us to develop a converter which can convert a specific format of date into a required format. So in that case, we can test the existing application connections and also run rules based on our requirement and and also can implement many out of the box features that are offered from the SailPoint standard environment. Now, before getting into the deployment or development of a plugin project, it is important or it may be helpful to understand how plugin is developed and the required files in identity IQ so for development of plugin we require a basic knowledge on standard languages which involves Java JavaScript HTML CSS and also a SQL in this case where these additional languages will help us to develop an additional application which involves us to perform various operations in SailPoint Identity IQ. Now that it is important for a developer to understand the components of a plugin and the operations involved using those languages. Now, in order to store our data of an entire plugin, we will be using a default database given when during the SailPoint installation, which is Identity IQ Plugin Database. This database allows us to store all the data which is required by a, by a specific plugin followed by ID attribute. Now, the plugin object defines the parameter of the plugin, things such as REST resources, snippets, settings, etc. Here, the plugin object is an XML object that defines the features of the plugin. This object tells Identity IQ what features will be in your plugin by defining them as attributes of a plugin object. In the plugin object, you will define the name of your plugin, the rights required for your using plugin, 
version, snippets, rest resources, and all the required file. These all can be designed in a single manifest file, which includes the name of a plugin and also a many other attributes which defines the version of a plugin and the install date also. For a basic plugin development, we require a plugin name followed by install date which specifies the plugin installation date and display name which, which helps the other user to understand about the plugin developed. The major usage of manifest file involves the version control which defines for the specific environment. This version control can be accomplished with the attributes called maximum and minimum version controls which are max system version and minimum system version. Here these attributes allow us to specify our plugin version and allow the users of the plugin to define this plugin developed in a specific version as specified. Plugin structure. The basic plugin structure involves the DB scripts, imports and the source files and the custom UI objects. The basic plugin will consist of a manifest file, database scripts, identity IQ objects and UI elements. Here, SRC contains a compiled Java classes. Not all of these components are required for a simple plugin development. So, in order to understand how a plugin operates and how to create one, it is important to understand what each of these components does and how they interact. Now, the DB directory which again contains a sub directories install, uninstall and upgrade which allow a plugin to store all the data related to a plugin in an identity IQ plugin database. This database will be configured automatically during the installation of SailPoint Identity IQ. This Identity IQ plugin database have the data related to a specific plugin. This was introduced first in Identity IQ 7.1 version. Plugins that require persistence of data outside of it allowed by the identity IQ object model will require at minimum the creation, updating and deletion of unique table space. For plugin creation, a folder should be created called db in, in plugin development workspace. This folder should be further divided into three operation specific folders where install folder should contain the scripts, database scripts which will be automatically executed during the installation of a plugin where uninstall folder contains the scripts which will help us to remove all the files related to a plugin while during the installation on installation of a plugin. The script specified in this folder will be automatically ran when a plugin is installed via the graphical user interface or delete, deleted via the UI. Here in the UI folder we'll have some additional UI components that will appear in identity IQ. This contains images, CSS files and also HTML templates followed by some JavaScripts which allow us to interact with the plugin developed and views required by the plugin. Plugins that utilize a full page element will look for a file called page.xhtml in the build 
workspace. Please note that any CSS installed with the plugin will apply to all the elements in an identity IQ. So, in order to differentiate the CSS developed for the plugin, we need to be careful while the development of CSS for a specific plugin since it may spoil the standard environment. The import directory contains the identity IQ objects that are required as part of a plugin will need to be represented in XML artifacts and the SRC directory contains the most of the plugin framework elements such as REST web services integration for the majority of the CRUD operation. which involves create, read, update and delete. We can use the build.properties file to develop a plugin for a specific environment base. Plugins in identity IQ will be deployed using a zip file which involves related to a plugin here here identity iq stores the zip archive file of the plugin in the identity iq database in a data long blob in the spt underscore file underscore bucket table this table contains all the data related to a particular plugin which involves a unique ID for every plugin installed. The creation of the database is handled by the installation scripts packaged with the every download of identity IQ in the web slash webinf slash database folder. user called identity iq plugin is also created to perform operations of installation and deletion of plugins on this new database similar to the base identity iq username and password these can be modified and updated in the identity iq iq.properties file which is located in the web inf slash classes directory here zip file that plugins are loaded after installation or after an application server restart the zip file is extracted and all important such as html css javascript files are cached for later use extending the base plugin the base plugin resource class should be used as a base class for all resources. It provides access to utilities methods for accessing plugin settings, getting database connections and more. For example, the get connection method helps us to get the connection to a database specified in the iq.properties file for the plugins. Get plugin name allows us to return the correct name of the plugin. Similarly, get string bool, get, st get setting string, get setting bool allow us to operate on this plugin settings in a different required written types. Here, prepare statement method will allow us to operate with a java prepared statement object for any database related queries. Authorize allow us to ensure that only system administrators or specific users which are having admin level capabilities are 
capable of accessing the specific plugin. Additional methods should be introduced to handle the various endpoints required by the plugin. Plugin upgrade. Here, whenever there is a change in the currently existing or developed plugin, then the, all the changes to the respective files will be specified in a manifest file which allow the end UI to locate all the respective files required for the specific operations. In a similar fashion, we can configure a plugin settings using a plugin configure button from a specific plugin on a plugin's dashboard. Plugin settings are attributes that are available for the end system user or administrator to modify as part of their installation. Plugins can be easily installed using a simple zip file import or we can remove the existing plugins using a UI configuration. This helps us to interact with the plugin database and remove all the files related to a specific plugin which we are operating with. Do follow us on social media for more technical updates. Thank you.